Marcus Aurelius once said, it's not death that we should fear, we should fear never beginning to live. Life is challenging. It's full of ups and downs. We think, I wish things could just be still. I wish things would stop changing. I wish my problems would go away. We want a life that's steady with a path that's flat. Yet as Deborah Evans once said, life is like an EKG. Without the ups and downs, you're not living. Because this is what a flat line looks like. And this is what a lifeline looks like. When we feel those highest highs, those extreme peaks, we're ecstatic to be on the summit. Then when we're in the lowest lows, those deep values, we're ready to submit. And so we try and play it safe and avoid all risks. But when we seek security and prioritize passiveness, we don't realize that a flat lifeline means we're dead. If we're always trying to live our lives at sea level, then we'll never see what life is truly about. That what we judge as good and bad are in fact deeply connected. How could we ever experience how wonderful happiness is if we never felt sadness? How could we taste the triumph of success if we never failed? How could we know the comfort of gratitude if we never experienced loss? Somehow we got the idea that being successful and moving forward in life means we're constantly moving up. But have you ever read a book, watched a movie, or seen a case study like that? They don't exist. Every story worth telling has peaks and valleys, successes and setbacks. Our brains are wired for novelty. When something's new, whether it's a fantastic surprise or a huge challenge, our brains light up. We thrive on learning and our opportunities to grow. Yet our brains also easily become accustomed to patterns, making it harder for us to change. Dramatic disruptions help us break these patterns and invite us to see and experience the world in a whole new way. And as it turns out, we're designed for change all the way down to ourselves. Your body is constantly being reinvented, replacing most of itself every seven to 15 years, even down to our bones. The universe is constantly shifting, and we are part of that. When we try and resist change, it goes against our very nature. In the journey of life, we experience pleasure and pain. There'll be sunshine and rain, there'll be loss and gain, but we must learn to keep moving forward again and again. So if you open your eyes this morning, if you were healthy enough to move about, to maybe get yourself some food, if you were able to go to a refrigerator and find that it was full and stocked, if you were able to put on some clothes, and if you had a roof over your head, just remember how grateful you can be for all those things we consider to be basic, but for others, they don't even have access to. We can't stop life's ups and downs, but we can change how we experience them. We can learn to go with life's flow. Because as Helen Keller once said, life is either a daring adventure or nothing at all. There we go. So true. So true. So true. Amazing. Get shitty. Good morning. Yes. As long as we got a roof over our heads or we're on the roof deck. <laughs> even, even though I'm up here, I always forget about, you know, the, being gratitude about having gratitude yeah. about everything you know you hey, could be stuck in ukraine yes exactly i know I mean, we got to be very grateful if we're uh, just we are where we are is better than being stuck in the ukraine yep yeah, for sure and uh yeah i like that idea that um i kind of i think we all want everything to always be going i think up. my internet service is really bad but what did I didn't hear the end part. He's like, it's Helen Keller said, and Hold then on, you ended you the video there. for me. What What was the last? Okay. Yeah, you're a bit delayed. D. Say that again. I don't think she was talking to us. Oh, no? Okay. She was talking about <laughs> Helen Keller. <laughs> but, uh, 
yeah, life is about go with the flow. That's what she was saying. And uh, if you're not trying to go after the exciting things, then your life is just kind of stays the same. And and to me, that's always been the 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 hard part is uh, is uh, that change, trying to make that change, and then on the other hand wanting to stay comfortable and just do the same thing that you're always doing so you have to go make that effort to make the change and uh, that's where the that's where the challenge is and uh, because I think you're you know our brains don't want us to change they just want us to stay the same they want us to learn and, and think about things and do and uh, and all this stuff but when it comes to actually doing the work to make a change that's the hard part so if we can learn how to do that, then, then, then we can make that change. And, and if you want to make a drastic change, then you have to do a lot of work. It's not just a little bit of the work, you know, you know yep. like, like moving to Mexico, for instance. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a big change. Yeah, it's a big change. The first step is making the move, but then there's a lot of work to make it, to make it all happen. So. Wash your you're cutting out. I'm cutting out? Yeah, you did. Okay. There you go. Yeah, it says unstable. Okay. Hopefully I'm okay. I'm testing the when roof. Move, when, when you moved there, what, how did you do it? Did you know people there or did you just no. pack up and go? Nobody. Yeah, I didn't know anything about Cabo. And I didn't know anybody here. And I just came here with the intention that I will check it out. And hopefully it'll be a cool place. Yeah. And that would be scary. So I came um, and then I just never left basically. And it took maybe <laughs> it like I went back and forth, but I haven't gone anywhere for two years. I've been here. Um, and, but I went back and like, it's been seven years now that I've been here. So the first couple of years was still trying to decide whether, you know, is this a good place? And then finally I made the decision that, yeah, this is where I'm staying. So then things changed again. Then you start putting the, uh, the motion and the pieces in place to stay somewhere, you know, because I, like I've got my residency now and I've got everything set up and all that stuff. And, uh, but I probably don't recommend it that way. I, I, I like, you know, yeah, sure, go somewhere and check it out first, see if you like it there. But it's better to have uh, sort of a plan <laughs> when you go somewhere. Well, if I was moving to a whole different country, I think I'd have to have a plan. Yeah, I'd have a plan. <clears throat> I didn't have a plan. I didn't have a plan for income. I didn't have a plan for, for anything. Just just showed up. And I've done that a lot, though. I've been to 30 countries. I've lived in 30 countries. So, and, and Kabul is my yeah, Cabo is my favorite um, for many reasons. I, I love Mexico. I love the people. I love the food. And I, I love the weather here the most out of anything. It's just, it's just, it's not too hot. It's not too cold. You know, it's just great weather. So that, that's, a, that's important because I've lived places where it's, it's really hot. I live places where it's, you know, it rains a lot <laughs> and, uh, and all those things. So here it's been great and the other thing i really like about here is there's a really good expat community of 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 canadians and americans that live here so a lot of my friends are for two reasons one they're they speak english but two they've moved here and they don't have family so we're kind of you know in a right. place where everybody is family because they don't have family even even with the mexicans nobody's really born in cabo so they they're here because they came here even the mexicans so so the, all those elements all in the one, and it's a resort. So living in a resort is always a different kind of environment. Yeah, that'd be kind yeah. of nice. Yeah, so, <laughs> yeah, so that, that, that's a good example. That just, it came with a decision to, to, to make a change and then the decision to um, do all the things necessary to actually make it happen, like book a plane ticket and all that kind of stuff. And, uh, and, and then, but the real work is a, is a constant, is a constant work to stay somewhere, you know, until it, until it becomes routine again, <laughs> wherever, whenever you move. And for me, it's not quite routine yet. Even after seven years, it's still working on making things happen here, you know, as in another country, 
So it's slowly starting to get there, but it's taken me seven years to do so, so do you far. rent there or, or do you own that condo? No, I, I'm renting, yeah. And um, with the intention to buy something, but again, you only want to buy something if you're committed that you're going to stay there, right? Well, after seven years, I think you're staying. Yeah, yeah. So now we're getting into that <laughs> that, that, that uh, idea that okay, let's let's uh, you know. And some people, I've got a guy arrive that arrived yesterday from, from from California. He's a friend, and he's he's made the decision. He's been here, I think, twice uh, for two trips, and now he's going to buy a house here. Like this week, probably he's going to start looking. So he's going to stay with me, and then he's going to be out looking at houses and uh, and and buy something. He sold his place in California, and uh, so. That's see, that's kind of what he's already made that commitment before he's even arrived here yesterday that he's going to buy and stay here. So <laughs> rather than just going to check a place out and if you don't like it, you can bail after however many years, go somewhere else. Well, maybe it may uh, open up a transition house, charge rent. Yeah, well, I rent my guest room, right? So for that reason, people are coming here. Mainly because I, um, I'm, I'm kind of attracting uh, marketers, right? Because I want them to flag. A lot of people now are uh, working online. So they come and stay with me for, I've got, I've got a couple of girls that were here for a month. They just left. Um, and they're, they're, uh, they're working online and they're buying NFTs. Like uh, one of the girls just sold an NFT for 30 grand last week. So Holy crap. That's a pretty good little salary for that would be especially if they bought it for 20 bucks <laughs> a couple grand i think yeah yeah so so that's the new world right new world is you can be remote and, and work from anywhere and that's why i'm so focused on lifewave because i want not only do i want to make money here and there and whatever but that constant income coming in reliably is like key. Right. It's been key to me for 20 years. I've been trying to make that happen, where there's enough income coming in to support your lifestyle constantly, yeah. every week. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> that's, you can't get better than that. What what can be better than that? And with a company that's solid, you know that you know it's not going to disappear. That's important too, because I I built this several times before, and uh, the companies have disappeared. Uh, and sure, that can happen, but I, I think you need to be with a company that you feel that they've got a chance of surviving, you know, not something that... Yeah, well, you can't build, can't start building and then have the rug pulled out from underneath you. Yeah, yeah. Which and I think LifeWave has been around long enough that they, they're established themselves <coughs> as a company, you know, that, that, to me, that's important. They're not going to disappear. Right. You know. They still can disappear, but I, I think they have a vision for the future is one thing of a lot of stuff that they plan on bringing out. And then they, they, you know, any company takes a while to set up and all the politics on what direction you're going in and the accounting and the cash flow and all that has to be solid or, or you can't survive. So, and I think the product is kind of... Um, it's not a fad either. It's not something that will uh, um, come and go. In my opinion, you know, uh, like travel, which was the last company I was building. <laughs> yeah. Uh, am I frozen again? Are you guys okay? No, I'm just, I'm just. Oh, you're okay. Oh, you're frozen. Okay, cool. I never know. Um, cool. Yeah, and I'm just testing out the, uh, oh, your, <laughs> these internet's bad too. I think mine should be okay, but I'm just testing it here on the roof, so. And the lighting, I think I might have to get some external lighting because it's so bright out here. Yeah, you're um, squinting from the sun. Yeah, I'm squinting, and then if I move in, it, it, it's dark, right? Yeah, you're shadowed. So we'll see how it works. But, um, <laughs> we're talking about that, it just needs to be soft boxes i think or something yeah but uh, it's kind of cool to, to have an actual office to go to and i just have to go up the stairs it's like okay i hand in the office today <laughs> so you're all cloudy today yeah and it's cloudy yeah 
So that's true. It might be brighter, like when it's not so cloudy. Yeah, cool. Um, so yeah, I like Jay Shetty. He's got a lot of uh, a lot of motivational um, talks that he puts together, and I just like the way he constructs them. With mm -hmm. kind of, they kind of have a flow to them, right? No, I've always liked Jay Shetty. Yeah, and he's always inspiring. He's easy to listen to. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So that's cool. Um, yeah, so my goals for this week, I'm going to readjust. I find connecting with 25 people a day is way too many. I can't, I can't commit to that. Um, so I'm going to readjust, come up with a new plan this week. Uh, it's easy to make 25 connections a day, I find. That's what I was doing. But what happens there is then I've got all these people that want me to follow up with them. To, they're responding to me. Now i got to follow up with all those people. That's what the difficult part. Um, oh, so D is goals is 150. 150, for the week. holy crap. Let me, uh, I'm going to open the chat. For a yeah, for the, for the week. So uh, what's my connection? I like, I like, I'm going to get back down to the three a day, you know, the um, Onyx Cole, the three, three, one. You can connect with three, follow up with three and, 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 and share the, share a link or something with one person a day. Um, I like that idea. Um, so 150, what's that a day? 30. Roughly 20 a day, right? I'm gonna to commit to 10 new contacts a day that just sending out sending out a message and six days. So that's 60 people. 60 new connections this week. And then I've got so many people to follow up with, like that I've you know, and I think you need to follow up with someone like right away within a day or two. Otherwise, they yeah. kind of their their energy is <laughs> is is burned out. The candle is really burned out. You got to relight it again. Um, so that's what's happened to me. Even last week, I had so many people that were connecting with me. I followed up with a few of them, and then I my other challenge is tracking all all of that, tracking who I need to follow up with, what I follow them up with. And, you know, we've talked about that many times, but it's still, I find that part of the work uh, uh, difficult mm. for me. So it's, it's, it's just doing it, doing it, put the, putting the, putting everybody's names into the, into the spreadsheet and into the, um, into the tracking. Yeah. Whether you do it uh, with a tracking or, you know, CFM or, post-it notes either way it's a whole different thing uh to learn implement and do daily yeah so it's one more piece of the job i guess yeah one piece of the job that has to be done otherwise you lose track of who you talk to and what you talk to them about um, yeah when you follow up with them they just drop off the, the list and then i learned uh i i learned a really great point from my uh sales person friend who's a very good sales very good in sales in different industries. And he says you, um, uh, I forget the term you use now, but your, your main focus is the, the hot people, the people that are hot. You know, they've already expressed interest or they're, you know, we always, and I do it, I tend to go and look for new people when I haven't even uh, followed up with the people that are ready, you know, ready to, to jump on board, ready to buy what you have to sell. You know? mm -hmm. So um, he says that should be the number one focus is the, are those leads, the hot leads. He had another name for it. I have to figure out what he called them, but it makes sense. Yeah. You know, and there, and that, so those on your list are the, the ones to focus on. And, that, and I find that, you know, a lot of times you just focus on getting more people and you've got all these other people that are, that are, uh, that are uh, a more higher priority. So that means, uh, oh yeah, so D is the Sunday's off. Mm -hmm. 
too. I, I think it's important to take one day a week off for me anyway, like completely, completely stop the, uh, your brain from thinking about it. Do something else. Yeah. yeah and the, uh, so not only is there the, um, the 10 people a day, uh, the more of the work is in the follow-ups and the, and the sharing the link with people. Because um, I find everyone I share the information with is, is interested, whether they, whether they, they, I haven't had anyone say to me now, they, they you know, now, I'm not interested at all. They say yes. <laughs> you know? every, person I, every person I've shown is like, yeah, right. Uh, but just the wrong people. Right. Wrong exactly. people, wrong time. You know, what are you going to do? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, yeah, exactly. But um, yeah, I like this idea of this ups and downs too. You know, you you're up at the top and you're down at the bottom. And even in this case, there's uh, you know some weeks are really great, other weeks are down, and it's never going to be like this. I'm uh, put together a. That's one more job I got to do is put together all my little uh, packs. So I'm taking those to Daytona with me. Oh, yeah. So I've got yeah. that one site made for bikers. I'll take that and hand business cards out. Right. And even yeah. if I don't hand them out, I'll take, I've got thousands of them. I'll just throw them, <laughs> put them everywhere. Right. Yeah. yeah pick yeah, it yeah. up and look great. Yeah. Great. And you're going to you buy those little um, package things um, to give out samples. The little sleeve packages? Uh, I do not have, I don't have the sleeves. I've got the information books uh -huh. and I've got business cards. I think you get the, the little sample sleeves for like 10 for, I don't know, something. Yeah, I can't remember if I bought those or not. I got to take a look. I know I've got a bunch of the booklets. And then you can staple your a business card on there or write your information, mm -hmm. contact information on there. And, um, I write on there also like what kind of patches in there right. and how do well, you I've got plenty of plant patches. I can give away quite a bit. Yeah. Right. Cool. And do you, uh, with those samples, do you, is it one per, per package? I would probably put three. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it's just a package, right? And then you have to put something inside. It's a little yeah. sleeve, yeah. And the sleeve, oh, sleeve also has that divider in it. So if you want to give them two different kinds, one on each okay. side. Okay. It's the regular sleeves? The the regular yeah, size? It's smaller. It's about a three by two or something like that. Uh, yeah, I didn't, I've never seen those. And you, and you order like a bunch of them, right? I think it's 10 in a bundle or something like that. Okay. And then you put one patch in each and you can put any kind of patch in them, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, I don't have time to order those now. Yeah. Kind of I can use my little baggies, little sandwich bags, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I don't like enough the idea. Of I like the idea that Onyx says too, like when you give one out, get a commitment to say, okay, well, try this. She even yeah. puts it on them so they don't have a choice. Yeah, the, giving, those samples yeah. I get, I wouldn't run around just throwing samples out and let people yeah, grab right. them. Those are people right. I personally talk to, but business cards, I can flip those out yeah, everywhere. Yeah. Out everywhere. Right. I mean, I'll be in you're gonna be around hotels. Bikers. It's all bikers. Just put my business yeah. cards everywhere. In the bathroom. Yeah. Yep, everywhere. Some drunk will stumble across it and say, hey, what is this? Take a look. Right, yeah. It's a hit and miss thing, but you never know. Yeah, yeah. sure. And then, yeah, I like that idea with the samples too. And then getting a commitment for someone to try it and follow up with them. Yeah. And, and Onyx is still saying that she gives out, how uh, much time again? We got two minutes left. Uh, gives out, um, she, she was saying she gives out three samples. She still still doing that? Probably, who knows? Or one? I think one is 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 uh, is uh, you know at least someone gets to see what it what it is physically, and and then there's a reason to follow up with them to get them to order more if they're interested. Yeah, because one they'll feel the difference whether it's in ten minutes, in fifteen minutes, whatever they will feel the difference. Right, right, and I don't. <laughs> Maybe three will will get them uh, more results, but then maybe not. So, you know, here's one. If you want to try it for 
30 days or 90 days, then then do it, you know. Yeah, well, three will be three. That's only give one. That's, yeah, <laughs> I be on that, and that way you've got three sam you know, three more people. There are two more people to give out the sample to. You're only right. giving everybody one. Yeah, yeah, because they will see results. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So that's cool. When are you leaving for the, for there? Ready? Uh, Friday. Okay, Friday. <laughs> Friday until a week from that Sunday. Yeah. So that'll be gone a while. That'll be fun. Yeah. 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 Be fun for me. It won't be fun for my wife. Yeah. Wife. <laughs> right. But she'll be home. Yeah. She'll be home, but then I think uh, in June she's going with her girlfriends. They're going someplace. All right. And then next September we'll go somewhere together. That's Might end up in Cabo. You never know. Yeah, come down to Cabo. I'll be here on the roof. So. And my wife won't, she won't do that. <laughs> yeah. Number one, she won't fly. Number two, she won't leave the country. So all right, there you go. I can always go, go by myself. Go to somewhere warm. Yeah, and we should all come down and get, get something going. I'll have to get Mark to come down. And yeah, go. huh? that'd be crazy. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Right? Okay, I, don't we're out you wanna see, I, I don't know if you want to see me and Mark together because I know I already tell by talking to him what would happen. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Disagreement? You mean? would have a great time. Yeah. yeah, that'll be fun. We can put you in separate hotels. Okay. okay. Awesome, everybody. Have an awesome day. See y'all later. Bye-bye. Awesome.